Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, we're going to talk about make professional organizational chart using bricks. Link to data with AI. Easy method. Now right here, I am currently inside the website called bricks. And before we get into this, you're going to need the data. So let me just go to my Excel file right now. So welcome back to the video. So with this one, it's just basically a chart with the name the reports to or the boss of those names and the title of each names. So we're just going to need a sample data sheet to proceed with this tutorial. So you have something to work with. Now once you're here, this basically has a free trial. And let's talk about the pricing first. Let me just go to it right now. Now welcome back to the video. So they have a free trial which is the personal. So this is ideal for individuals. It has a limited grids, 50 collaborators and the works. And these are the differences of each of the title or basically the plans. So I'm going to sign in right here with my dummy Google account and I'll see you once inside. Now welcome back to the video. So with this one, you can create roadmap up to org chart right there. They even have pie chart and the works here. So we're going to focus on org chart, but don't click it just yet because we need our data. So to get your data, simply go to your Excel, copy and paste it right here. Now before you paste it, type in this command, make an org chart like so. Notice that the org chart name or basically the term itself is highlighted by blue because Bricks really understands the AI here. So under it, just a little bit space, paste your data. Simply click on enter and I'll see you once it's done. Now welcome back to the video. So this is going to be our organizational chart or you may call it org chart. So before you get into it, there are styles to take note of. You can choose that one right there with the picture itself or this little minimalistic style. Now I'm going to go with this style. Now for some reason, let's just say, for example, some of this is quite wrong or wrong in order. For example, if your name right here is going to be under the title itself, you can just double click on it and change their name. And then you can add some more names here to change your title. Let's try this one. For example, Captain Roger is not really the title here. And basically it went to director for the name and then for the title, it went for Captain Rogers, like this one. Now you can edit this one with simple click of a button. So double click on that one. I'm just going to do what I did earlier. So I will be director. And then for the name, just copy this one, remove that. That will be Captain Rogers. Easy as that. You can edit this one. And as you can see earlier, I can move this one anywhere I want on my org chart. Easy as that, right? Also guys, there are options here, actually unlimited options for your size text, for the color of your text like there, if you want the color, if you want to put it on bold, if you want to change the font family or font style basically, and basically this is going to be your urge right now. Also guys, you can insert whatever you want here. For example, if you click on insert button right there, you can insert a text. And if you click on that text right there, place it right here. For example, Bruce Banner, let's just call it guard something like that so bruce bunny right now is gonna be a guard if i move this one it's still not going with the guard right there so what i'm gonna do right here is i need to group this one basically make sure that is group click on right click click on group and whenever i move this one the title itself follows take note about that one okay when you're adding some elements here make sure you group them and have fun with it also guys one thing you note of is you can zoom out for this one. For example, let's go to normal. That would be 100%. Perfect. And you'll notice once you upload your data, you're going to have this new view right here. You can choose here for bricks data, board, and grid. But I'm going to go for data first, and you'll see this option. You can expand it however you see fit. And you'll notice right here earlier, it will now real-time um react. Whatever you do in here, for example, I'm going to add my new employee here. Let's just name it. I'm going to call it Black Adam. And for the manager who he reports to, I'm going to go for Tony Stark there. And of course, the title, I'm going to go for intern. And right now, I'm going to go back to the org chart by simply click on the chat button right there. And look for the new one. Should be around here somewhere. Black Adam. As you can see right here, it goes directly to Tony Stark. Because basically, Black Adam reports directly to Tony Stark. And you'll notice right here, the guard is not perfectly aligned. I can simply do that, place it here. And with that being said, that is perfectly aligned now. Easy as that, guys. Now, there are things to go through here. For example, you're lacking style. So click on your chart, 
I've already tackled the font style font text, right? But for the frame, you can choose here also. For example, you want it a little bit more colored or more colors right here. It's going to be a hex code also if you want. But for now, let's stay put as what I have here. And basically, if you want to add some shapes here, so change the shape, for example, you want it to go a little bit more diamond. Or how about a little bit more on the square side? Perfect, right? And if you want to download them, simply click on that button right there. You can download via image or PDF. It's going to be by your own choosing. With the one click of a button, and this org chart will be downloaded on my computer. Easy as that. And right now, let's try editing this chart a little bit more. Go on Bricks Data. So since this is a spreadsheet, you can filter whoever you want. Let me just unselect all and just select anyone who reports a tone stark and basically choose blank. Click on apply. And as you can see right here, this is the leadership roles. If I go back on chat, and right now that is basically how it's done. You'll notice that the guard title keeps going forward. You can still edit this one, place it right there. Just make sure you always check on that. Now that is how you edit your data. Same drill guys, if you want just someone on your management tool, for example, you want to just check that one right there, or remove someone, click on apply, go to chat, and basically this is all you have right now. Awesome, right? And of course, the biggest question here is how to add the photos. So again, go to Bricks Data, and you'll have an image column. With this one, you can double click on each of the column, but first let me just filter everything back. You select everything back, perfectly right there and for the image i can just select for example what on the start let's just choose a file that i can use for just for the example purposes i'm gonna use this photo of a man with colored eyes that is basically a sample photo we're gonna use okay so we're gonna be uploaded right there let's try this one example i'm gonna upload two photos here just for the sake of the discussion i'm gonna go with this one now, of course, you can upload anything you want here, especially if you have a profile photo of that person itself. And now, if I go back on chat right now, you'll notice those two images are going to be here. Pretty awesome, right? And let's try this example. So if you click on that one, you're going to have an option to send copy to. You can choose a board there. If I click on board right here, this is basically a presentation, a column, wherein others can view this one, just send them the link. Of course, guys, since this is a board, might as well take advantage of the methods here. You can enter a text. For example, I'm going to enter a visual background. I can place it whatever I want here. But for now, I'm going to place it right here, basically right there, or I can place it on the top of my board, basically right here. Of course, guys, I can also enlarge it the way I see fit. Easy as that, right? I can just make sure that everything is good to go. I can also move this one just a little bit tighter right there. Move it right here. Perfect. Now, for example, I'm also done here. You can adjust everything, by the way, guys, not just the text. You can also add some more elements for canvas, some data, some charts here to work with. For example, the monthly sales is going to be here since the board is basically focused on discussions. So as you can see right here, Bricks doesn't just focus on organizational charts. You can use it as a presentation module. Now, let's just say you're satisfied with your data. You're ready to present. Up on top, if you click on present right there, you'll open up this option where, basically, you can present your presentation. So we have the title, the org chart, and the data sheets. Easy as that, right? It's just like PowerPoint. If you're familiar with PowerPoint or not, I have a video about it, so please check it out. Now, as promised earlier, as mentioned, by the way, I can send this link to any of my friends via this one or might as well click the share button. You can send an invite and then you can edit the permissions if they can edit this one. Link sharing, publish the web are going to be the options right here also. So that's going to be by your own perspective, okay? Also guys, if you notice, there is a Canva here. If I click on that one, these are dynamic timelines. For example, if you click on here, you're going to have this option to add the new presentation. You can edit everything also. For example, just double click on the text here. For example, sample text. You can edit the font size, font style, and the words. With that being said, those are the important tips and tricks for you on Bricks application. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please type them below the description. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.